this is relatively a strong framing joint. In a corner lap joint, one member intersects the other forming a corner. Let us look at the procedure to make a corner lap joint. Step 1. Use two wooden pieces, cut and trim to size. Step 2. Measure the width of the lap from the edge. Mark the shoulder lines all around the member. This will indicate the length of the cut. Similarly, measure and mark the other wooden piece. Step 3. Measure the thickness and adjust the marking gauge accordingly and scribe a line on the side and the top edge of both the members. This will define the depth of the lap joint. Step 4. Support the wooden piece on the workbench with a G-clamp. Now use a handsaw to cut along the marked line to the depth of the gauged line. While cutting, take care not to overrun the depth marking. Release the clamp and secure the piece to the bench vise vertically and use a saw to cut down the remaining waste wood. Ensure the cutout area is flat and smooth. If required, chisel out further to achieve the desired flatness. Similarly, repeat these steps to prepare the other member to complete the corner lap joint. Step 5. Once both the members are ready, create a tight interlocking joint by overlapping the wooden pieces. Place the members one above the other and check the perfectness of the alignment of the edges. If they sit flush, then remove and apply some glue on both the joining area and fix it. Check the straightness with a tri-square. To strengthen this joint, you can use some additional reinforcement like screws or nails. Before you drive in the nails completely, once again ensure they are straight. Wipe away any excess glue with a damp cloth. You have successfully made a corner lap joint. Let's look at the procedure once again. Step 1. Square the wooden piece. Step 2. Measure and mark the cutout for the laps. Step 3. Mark the depth for the cut. Step 4. Secure the wooden piece and cut out the lap joints. Step 5. Dry fit to check and assemble the joint by applying glue. 